so this was the previous code and this was the output and now if you want to print this uh, diamond inside of a square or box so what you need to do is just add four more conditions here so when i is equal to zero that means i is row i guess so when i is 0 that means row 0 then print all star ok and when your j is 0 print star that means first column so first row will be all stars then first column will be all stars so let's see what the output we get we should see two edges at least two edges of the square compile it and run it give it a odd number and see we have two sides of the square now square now and if we add two more conditions that is i is equal to what is i i is row then row minus one because i is starting from zero and then j is equal to column okay that is also r r minus one okay so that will be square actually that is why both the row and column is r so let's save it and compile it once again give it a value and there it is it is a square inside that you have that uh, diamond okay so this is your diamond inside a square but it, i don't really like this one because this uh, star these four stars are like not that uh, looking not looking that great so what you can do i i want this to be like the square is uh, separated from this diamond so we need an extra square outside of it okay not with this one okay so what i can do is let's start i from minus one and j from minus one and go up to row and up to the all values of r so that will give us two one extra row and one extra column so now let's use that extra row and column to make the square and rest of the blocks will be for diamond so and not minus one anymore only r because we are going to the highest value of the r save it and a compile run 15 so now it's different look this one is with the square and diamond is the last corners are at the same position so this one is a little different you can use it if it's up to you which one you want to write or something like that so that's it see you in our next video and if you don't have the have if you didn't watch the previous video go to the description and watch the previous one